worth it by Mark! Hello, it's Mark from Worth It Repairs by Mark, and today we're doing a MacBook Air M1 chip battery replacement, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. First, we gotta take off the back plate here, so you wanna get your PLR4 screwdriver out and remove all the screws from the bottom, and then I'll show you how to pop it off. So here we go on the video. Please like and subscribe. Alright, we got all the screws out, so pop it off from the top here. Just pry from the top, pull it up. Just pops right off. There you go. Then disconnect the battery connection first. And that has a little metal lever and then you lift that up and then you lift up this lego connector and boom you get the battery disconnect first and then we got to get out our t3 screwdriver here and disconnect the trackpad connection here and then also we'll want to uh, use it on the loudspeakers very gently pull on the trackpad cable you do not want to break it otherwise there's another part you're going to have to replace Anyways, get that T3 screwdriver and remove the screw from the loudspeaker here. And you're going to want to get out your tweezers next, and then um, you'll get this pull tab here. And you do kind of a rotation of the tweezers to get the tab up. Rotate it like so, pull it out, and then rotate it up a little more and pull it out. Don't do too much, otherwise it might break early, but this one came out just fine. But right there at the end, it broke but we'll be able to work through that anyways let's get the connection disconnected here from the logic board and then we can see if we can pull it out there we go we got the loudspeaker out on the right side all right let's get the loudspeaker out from the left side here and uh twist it with your tweezers here and then pull out a little bit at a time and then twist it up again look it broke uh, this one ended up being a little bit troublesome for me, but um, I just continued to pull the pull tab as much as I can, and it broke early. So we're just going to go over back over here and pull these pull tabs that are next to, uh, next to me underneath the battery here on the right side. And uh, we'll just make our way around, and I'll show you kind of how to pry it out when they do break here in just a minute. All right, get out a plastic spudger here and pry underneath the battery. Make sure it's underneath the plate, the metal plate separating the battery from the uh, top case. So I just lift it up, kind of shove it in here so then I can get some uh, tweezers and try to get the pull tabs pulled out. I put it at an angle here so I can kind of get at it and try to pull out the pull tabs. And um, actually I wouldn't use tweezers if there wasn't that metal plate separating the two um, because you could accidentally cause a fire if you didn't have that metal plate there and then poke the battery by accident but I'm just gonna work my way around try to try to get this part out without having to use acetone but I might have to here in a little bit I'll just keep on prying at it with the uh, plastic spudger just lifting it up and then uh, getting my tweezers in between there and then get this side off and we'll work over on the left side soon. Alright, a little bit, this will make it a little easier is remember that T3 screwdriver, screwdriver, grab that out and get that screw that's on uh, underneath the loudspeaker on that right side. And then we're going to get the T3 screwdriver and use it up on this top left and remove the bracket here so we can disconnect the loudspeaker from the left side and move it up like that. And then we got to get the pull tabs again. I'm going to remove the uh, screw first and then get the pull tabs out and then um, work my way around. And, and they actually break on like every one this time I did it and um, I just had to keep prying it out and try to try to get out the battery here we go all right let's speed it up a bunch here i just pry out on this side here and then i get out the the battery once all the pull tabs i actually didn't use acetone on this one i was surprised anyways just lift up the battery just like so make sure not to pull it out too much on that trackpad and then we got to get out the 
new battery and do everything in reverse. Thank you for watching the video, everyone. Please like and subscribe if you have time, and also leave me a comment. I am very good at responding to comments. If you have any questions, like where I get my parts, uh, what to do if something goes wrong, like try to diagnose it if it's not working correctly. Anyways, um, there is, I haven't been making a lot of videos lately. I've been really busy. I actually got promoted to a manager at iCare Electronic Repair here in Fargo. And if you want to send me the repair, we do shipping as well, and you can send me something if you want me to repair it for you. I have a couple videos now. They're really getting a lot of views, like 15,000 views on some of my videos. I'm really excited to be able to help a lot of people out on how to repair.